Now, I know I'm not supposed to do videos when I'm in pain, but um, I'm feeling lots of pain in my head. I have a headache. I tried taking naps. I tried putting a washcloth with water on it above my head. I, I even got ear aches, and my ears hurt. And one time my throat hurt. It hurt when, yeah, it just hurts just to talk. I don't know why everything hurts now. Is it part of getting older or am I just sick? I'm probably just sick. I don't know. I feel lots of pain right now. And I don't know why. Uh, my name is Corey Fluxter. Today I'm going to be uh, reading to you the Bible. Okay? Whatever. Let's hope this heals me. I don't know why people say... It's the healing word of God. I would it heal you? Is God a healing God? I don't know. Does God still heal? Um, seems like he doesn't because no matter how hard I pray, um, usually nothing happens at first. So, nothing happens at all, really. I pray to God and Jesus that this pain goes away and it still does not go away. Who knows why or why not? Some things work, some things don't. I don't get it. So, uh, where, where we left off is not a healing chapter or whatever the heck pre, pre, voodoo preachers talk about what do they actually talk about i don't know they say that the heal that the holy word of god is healing i think they misinterpreted that wrong with um jesus when jesus was on the earth he um he healed a lot of people i don't see that anymore you don't see them healing much anymore besides People praying and so forth. So, is there miracles out there? It'd be a miracle if I got out of this painful thing that's affecting me a little. It hurts. You don't believe me that I'm in pain right now, but I am. I feel so much pain. Ridiculous. Can he, cannot... I can't enjoy music anymore or watching or thinking about things or anything close to that because it just hurts. So now I got to read books instead of play video games and, and I play video games a lot. I do turn off the, I turn the volume off. But still, you have to think when playing video games or to get it right. But anyways, we're here at chapter, um, uh, chapter 8. You get to drink some water. Oh, did I already mention... <coughs> Did I already mention that we're, we were um, at Noah's Ark the last time I did a uh, Bible read video? Yeah, I think we got to Noah's Ark. Maybe this is what happened after Noah's Ark. I don't know. But as you can see, we're at Noah's Ark. So, this is chapter 8. Let's go. I need some more water. <sighs> this is giving me a slow veil because I'm in pain and I'm still trying to figure this out. How can the Bible still be used as healing? I don't know. I don't get it. So... And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him. 
on the ark. And God made wind to pass over the earth. And the waters assuaged, assuaged, whatever the heck that means. The fountains also of the deep in the, in the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained. Now back then they called, probably called, uh, how do I say this? The reason why they're saying the word heaven is because heaven is a higher place. But also, it's the sky. That's the reason why they said, um, yeah. They said that rain came from the heaven. That means the sky. But it's also a place you go after you're dead to you and went to heaven. So, heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained. <clears throat> and the water returned off from off the earth continually. After end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters were abated, and the ark rested in the seventh mo month. Seventh month. Oh, I wonder which month that is. What is the seventh month? Is there still a seventh month on the calendar? I don't know. I'm dumb. I don't remember anything from learning about months, years, and days in school. I'm dumb. I don't know how many months are on the calendar. So, I did not pay attention at all. Now, the 17th day of the month, upon the mountains of Ararat, didn't know that exists. The mountains of Ararat. 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 Okay. The water decreased continually until the 10th month. In the 10th month on the first day of the month. Where the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days. That Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven which went forth to fro until the waters were dried up. And from off the earth also he sent forth a dove, a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from all the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot. And she returned unto him into the ark. So they're still on the ark. Yeah. For the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth the hand and took her and pulled her in, in unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet another seven days and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came in the evening. And lo, in the mer her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth. And he stayed yet another seven days, another seven days, and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him any more. So he's using birds to check on whether it's good to just, I don't get it. <laughs> I guess it makes sense because um, you're on a ship and there's nowhere to, to uh, nowhere, no land to go to. Because the whole world is drowned and uh, flooded. So... <clears throat> Sent forth the dough, not again unto them. Blah, blah, blah. And it came to pass in the six hundredth and first year, in the first month, in the first day. I don't let's skip that because we already talked about months and days and so forth. It's just kind of repetitive. From off the earth, Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. 
and the second month on the seventh and twentieth day of the month was the earth dried. God spake unto Noah, saying, spoke unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife and thy sons and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee. Of all flesh, both of fowl, the cattle, and of the creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful, and multiply upon the earth. And Noah <coughs> went forth, and his sons and his wife, and his sons' wives sent wives with him. Uh, every beast with every creeping thing and every fall and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds and forth out of the ark. And uh, Noah built an altar unto the Lord and took uh, of uh, every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor and the Lord said in, in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I gain uh, smite any more everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth seed time and harvest and cold heat and summer and winter and yeah. There's pictures, but yeah. Ah, where are we? <laughs> I'm losing. <coughs> Lost pages. Okay. Oh, now we're at the chapter nine. Okay. So. That was chapter 8. Now we're up at chapter 9. Let's read until chapter 10. God blessed Noah. God blessed Noah and his sons and has said that unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth. And upon every fall of the air, upon all that moveth. Upon the earth and open all the fishes of the sea unto your hand are there they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meant, I mean, meat. Everything living liveth shall be meat for you. Good. Finally, folks, we get to eat meat. It says that in the chapter 9. So, enough eating fruit. And wear some clothes for damn Pete. Uh, shouldn't, yeah, whatever. All right. So stop being naked. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Adam and Eve were naked, and all they ate was fruit. They ate too many apples and too many of the bad fruit. It didn't make any sense. Now we can eat meat. Finally. Um, so anybody who says, oh, I'm vegan for Christ. No. It says that. Hold on a second. Where did I read that? Okay. Fishes of the sea and every. Oh, wait. Let me read it again. Beasts of the earth, cows and uh, stuff, animals, um, and upon the fowl of the air, chicken, ducks sometimes, meat, okay? So quit saying that being vegetarian is yet the only, some people say that I met. I see lots of theories and stuff on the internet, and they're false. Okay, you can eat meat as a Christian. You can. 
I, I don't know. I don't know if I specify as a Christian or just read the Bible. Just to, but, um, I believe in Jesus and God. I do. What's there not to believe about it? I don't know. But, um, saying, oh, yeah, you're Christian, you're Islam, you're, you're Jewish, you're any of those religions, you're not supposed to eat meat, enough eating that pork. That has nothing to do with how you're, you worship. I can eat a lot of things and still be satisfied. It has nothing to do with what you eat. You can eat meat, you can eat vegetables, and fruit, and stuff. I don't see what's so wrong about that. There was somebody on the internet who said, Corey, he commented on my videos, and said, Corey, it is not a God-given right that you should eat meat. And I, and I, I was about to say, whoa there, how dare you talk that way to me, you vegan? But no, or vegetarian, but no, I don't know. Vegetarian and vegans just sound the same to me. They sound the same. But when you read chapter 9, that's when it's legal to eat meat, okay? You got to read chapter 9. You got to read the Bible to chapter 9. It says right here that you can eat meat. Now, I... The reason why Adam and Eve sinned is probably because there was no meat, and I don't know what the heck happened. They just weren't that interested in meat, and just weren't that interested in clothing either, wearing clothes. This shirt right now I'm wearing is not that cool. I don't know why I'm wearing it, but I just don't have much to wear today. So, yeah, I do the laundry more. But I don't know how to do the laundry because the washing machine is complicated. You try to twist knobs and push buttons. There are too many knobs and too many buttons. <coughs> so yes, you can eat burgers, chicken, and maybe pork. It doesn't have to do with anything that has to do with anything. You can still eat that stuff. Now, don't tell me that because I believe in God that I have to be vegan. That's a false statement. Okay? You can get angry at me all you want. With all your Hindu vegan stupid crap. It's bad. What who invented vegetarian? I don't. Whatever. Vegans and vegetarians just sound the same. Vegetarian just sounds like. Uh, sh I mean, vegan. Vegan sounds like a shortened ver word version for vegetarian. But what I saw, what I saw, in uh, on the internet, how they make vegan food though. It's weird. It's like taking plants. What kind of plant are you making it from? It doesn't make any sense. And that T-bone steak, uh, or the pot, or hold on a second before I say that. The bone, the bone in the chicken and the T-bone steak. The bones. They're all made out of popsicle sticks, clumped together and molded. That's really difficult to do in real life. I mean, if you're not, I mean, I don't know if that's possible, but somebody said that they're just popsicle sticks that they make their bones out of for vegan uh, food. And I think that vegan food is a... Uh, um, the most, you think you're eating healthy, but it's not natural healthy, okay? It's bad. It's terrible. Eat meat, eat meat, eat meat. 
I'm sick and tired of vegans thinking, oh, it's a healthy way of living. You can lose lots of weight by just eating vegan. Vegan, vegan, vegan. I'm sick and tired of it, okay? We're not vegans for Christ. We're followers of Christ. Okay. So chapter 9 says, you can eat meat, but at the beginning of the Bible, the book, the first books of Genesis, or whatever, blah, 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 the Genesis, when Adam and Eve were um, butt naked and so forth, that was when you can't say to me, Specifically, that a man, a believer of God, cannot eat meat. That is false. Read chapter 9. So, I don't know where I'm at. Alright. Lies will require, at the hand of the, every beast will I require it of the hand of man. At the hand of every brother, every man's brother, will I require the life of man. Who sheddeth man's blood by my, my <laughs> who sheds man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. Yes, self defense. That's what also Moses did in that movie when the Egyptian guy or whatever, not guy. <clears throat> <it's that. clears throat> voice is kind of mumbly um Egyptian something about Egypt and this person was like beating on somebody's wife or something or Moses um he killed a man because somebody was beating up somebody he knew that's all right to use self defense that's the reason why there's so many uh conservative people who are Christian, who vote for gun rights. It's not because and, uh, they vote for gun rights and uh, NRA, or it's called, it's not because they want school shootings. I don't know where these school shootings come from. If you want to get rid of school shootings, all you got to do is be the parent, look in your son's or daughter's backpacks, and check them for weapons. I'm not kidding you. I don't care if they have something personal or hidden in there. You need to, you need to look through their backpacks and uh, cases and stuff. They bring to school, their lunch boxes, and just check them for weapons. Like guns, not knives. But guns are the biggest threat to people in a school now. That's ridiculous. Ugh. It used to be such a joke back then that they make. Now it's like serious. They're going to take away. The Democrats will take away our guns because of school shootings usually. And plus they're corrupt. And because of these school shootings. They're going to take away our guns. Our big guns. Our cool guns. Our ridiculously high tech guns. Why? I don't know. Is there because, but because that, or whatever, um, the government is also evil to you. It has lots of secrets like deep state and so forth. They try to hide aliens. Yeah, so I got nothing to say about that, but about that, but yeah. All right, it just says here, now the reason why it says, whoso sheddeth man's blood by, by, let me, let me try to, I think I know what this means, I think I do, like as I said, whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. 
That means if you hurt somebody, you do unto others that you do unto you. But um, that means be kind to others if you want to be kind. And if they try to beat on you and they're beating on someone else that, uh, well, I say, where is it? If they shed blood, if someone shed my dad's blood or shed my mom's blood when she was still living, and it was not like a, I don't know how to say this. Um, yeah, that's a big deal. That's a real big deal. It's this shedding blood thing. If somebody attacks you and finally it made you bleed, um, you have the right to either self-defense. I'm not, I'm not against self-defense at all. I think everybody should own a gun. But, yeah. That's the reason why it says here, Whoso sheddeth man's blood be, by man shall be shed, shall as his blood shed. Yeah. I'm reading it differently because I have a tongue twister. But you all know what I mean, right? Yeah. And there is multiply therein. And God sp spoke unto Noah and his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, established my covenant with you. Covenant is a big thing in the Bible. It means that um, uh, trying to think here. When God says you have a covenant, that means you're worshiping God the right way. You're worshiping Him the the extreme the um. How do I say this? You know how at the beginning I don't know if you know this, but. Enoch and Noah and those people all walk with God. And they have covenant. They do. A covenant is a good thing. It's a good thing for um, Christians to have. That way you, I mean, the covenant means that, um, that God, they have a job to... That it's all right to do things in the, in the name of God. Just saying. Usually. That means you're God's chosen. God has chose you to be a part of him. That's just what happened. Sons and saying, I have a covenant with you and with a seed after you. And with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go... Now I can't hear myself at all, really. My ear really hurts. It might not seem like I'm in pain, because I'm doing this veil, but yeah. Um, I, I'm in pain right now, trying to, to say to God, Please, Lord, please heal me. Please heal my pains in my head. And so forth my body and soul that I may still do stuff that I can do for you. Amen. So, with you and after you. I got, this ear feels weird. I already went to the doctor. He just gave me med, 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 meds. That's it. No, nothing else. We're hoping that that gets healed. Oh, the beast of the earth, when you go out of the ark. So right now, they're done with the ark. They're getting out of there. The beast of the earth, that go with you out of the ark. Every beast of the earth, and I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there be any more um, be a flood to destroy the earth. Now, that's a theory. Um, are there still big floods that knock out countries like this one does? Like the flood in the Bible. I think it might happen again. Like, I don't know. We'll see. I guarantee you this, that there will be the next flood. I don't know why, but I just think that. I don't know. Anymore be destroyed by the earth. 
flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for preparation, I mean, per, per, perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a uh, covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass. Okay, they're talking about the rainbow. Not the gay flag. No. He calls it God's bow. Okay? Or. Yeah. The rainbow. Well, it's not called the rainbow. It's called God's bow. There's a difference. There's the gay rainbow. And then there's God's bow. Bow and arrow. So. Uh, that still sounds weird. Um. It shall come to pass when I bring cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy the all earth or flesh. So this flesh also is like a paper cut almost. It, it could just tear you apart. For some reason. That's what this book's saying. That the flood... You don't want to get anywhere near that water. Because when you start swimming around that water, it's going to rip you apart like a storm. Look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh and the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all the flesh as upon the earth, and the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark, were Shem, Ham, and Jepheth. And Ham is, is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. The three sons of Noah, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Jepheth. All earth overspread, and Noah began to husband, began in husbandman, and planted a vineyard, whatever the heck that means. And he drank of the wine, and it was drunken, and he uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his... <sighs> that seemed weird, weird. Took a garment and laid it upon his shoulders. Went, what the heck is happening here? Backward. What? And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants. He shall be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Lord God of Shem and Canaan shall be the servant. So they really don't like servants at all. They're treating everybody worse. I don't know why. Maybe that's the reason why Cain killed Abel. I don't know. Seems pretty wrong. They just want to help people and they're just banging them down, really. Well, in the tents of shame. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but anyhow. I put the bookmark in here. And, um. I don't know where the heck my pen. We gotta end this video right now. It's starting to get weird. <laughs> Rat, that pen don't work. Well, I'll use a crayon, I guess. That's all I see. Not that crayon, that's a good one. Oh, not that one either. Ah, I did a big boo-boo. All right. I gotta go. See you later, everybody.